So, so Jeff Fisher is fired, and I think we would all agree that that was the right move. We're not sure why after the contract extension. Well, we know why, but we don't know why he got the contract extension in the first place. Who, who replaces Jeff Fisher at this point? Hey, who knows, man? They got they got to do they, their due diligence. Um, I heard it was a a job a, a lot of folks want. You know, it's in L.A., big market. You uh -huh. know, so it, it is a attractive job on the surface. Um, it has some a lot of talent over there with Aaron Donald, um, the boy uh, Ogletree. You know, Todd Gurley. Um, we we just need a, a, a offensive mind to come in come and develop Jared Goff now. You know, whether that be the the coordinator or the head coach. Um, they have to be thinking offense, man. Okay. What about you, Do you think you think they go to an offensive-minded head coach or a complete 180? Um, to me, I think you'd have to go with a guy, you know, maybe, maybe a – he doesn't have to necessarily be an offensive guy as long as the guy that that, that guy brings in is a guy who maybe like a – I don't know, man. They want Harbaugh. That's who they want. They, Look, want, they, they want Harbaugh, but what about a John Gruden, though? See, here's a, here's why I'm going I'm to I'm pump the brakes on John Gruden. John Gruden has been out of football for quite a while, and I'm not suggesting that he's, he's lost the, the, the knowledge. He still obviously has a mind for the game. But he's been away from coaching for a while, and John Gruden, name, name how many young quarterbacks John Gruden has actually developed. Name them. No, none, bro. And that's always, to me, that's always been the knock on John Gruden. Yes, John Gruden is a is a is a good to great offensive mind, but his his emma has always been veterans, you know, a a, a completely talent laden team on both sides of the ball, established just a step away from greatness, not developing a, a young team. And while they do have pieces on the defensive side, there, there's a lot of question marks on that offense. And and while John Gruden will certainly dial up the right play more often than not, I'm not sure that he's going to have the patience or the ability to develop golf and, and, and to, to build that offensive line and to put receivers around and weapons around golf. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. I think, I think, I think they're going to go with a young, fresh face. I, I don't think it's going to be a, a well-known, big-time uh, coach like a Gruden or, or a Harbaugh. I'm thinking a young, fresh face. And, 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 but who, who is that young, fresh face? Who comes to mind? Who's the hot coordinator maybe, right maybe, now? Maybe, maybe somebody from the college ranks. Your boy from Stanford, what's his name? David Shaw. David Shaw? David Shaw. I, 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 uh, I'm okay with What about, what about Josh McDaniels? I don't think Josh McDaniels think, wants to leave New England. Um, I think he wants to be the successor to your boy. Uh, Belichick. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, Kevin Sumlin, maybe. Maybe. Um, but I think he's kind of lost some of his luster because he's been taking the beat in the SEC. Um... I, I wouldn't rule, rule out uh, Kyle Shanahan. The way the way the Falcons' offenses perform. I like and, that one. And, I like that pick. You know, there's some parallels that you can draw between Jared Goff and, and Matt Ryan in, in terms of in terms of the physical ability and and, and, and even even physical stature. Um, but I, I think I'm not sure if, if people are convinced that he can be a head coach. But certainly, especially this year, he's really and, and, and he's, he's demonstrated before. He knows how to how to call a game. He knows he, he he's, he's learned yeah. to get everyone involved. Well, that was kind of his his you know the, the main detractor to him is that the fact that he would focus on one particular weapon, but he's getting everybody involved and, and, and he's very creative. He, you know, using the full depth of the offensive roster. So, what, I, what about? I think he's an A. What about that coordinate offense coordinator for the uh, Oakland Raiders? Uh, is it is it you talking about um Bill Musk? Is it Bill Musgrave? Is that who it is? The Musgrave. I got. I got. Let me see. You don't want Musgrave, bro. Nah, I, if it's Musgrave, it's not. Yeah, it's not the guy. The 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 guy that I'm hearing, uh, not not for LA specifically, but a guy that's gonna get a lot of got a lot of love is the um offensive coordinator for uh, the Buffalo Bills. They're saying that if they Anthony fire Rex, they shouldn't let him walk out the door. But you know, <laughs> Buffalo don't always do the the best for the organization. You know, but um, I, I think that, that guy could be an option. I think Anthony Lynn has done a good job. Because they, they, they got rid of Greg Roman. Um, mm -hmm. Anthony Lynn has done a good job, especially because, you know, Tyrod Taylor is limited offensively. You know, they've had injuries at the receiver position, and he's kind of manufactured a, a, a passing. And certainly the Bills could run it. 
I, I, I kind of like Anthony Lynn. I, I think he would definitely get, you know, garner the respect of a locker room. But I'm with you, Hadley. I, I think they have to go offense. I think you have to, to bring someone in to focus on, on, on putting together a, 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 a professional offense. I mean, Todd Gurley, what was he saying? He was saying, like, it's a middle, middle school offense that we're running. You know what I mean? You can't get Gurley going. I know they have some, some talent deficiencies on the offensive line, but if you can't get Gurley going, that, that's a problem. You know what I mean? So, uh, whoever whoever they ultimately come away with, they, they, I think they certainly need to go um, to the offensive side of the ball. Is, is this it for Jeff Fisher? Is he done in the NFL? That shit is a wrap, bro. You can't count Jeff Fisher out, man. Nah, bro, it's a wrap. Bro. <laughs> this guy got nine lives, bro. You think he used up all nine? It's a wrap, bro. He used up all nine, man. Yeah, that's it, bro. Like, I, I don't. What, what what does he bring to the table outside of you know if you if you have a franchise who you're moving to a new city, or if it's so fractured that everything in the organization is broken. There's no there's, what. What's the goal every year for a team outside of the Cleveland Browns? What's the goal every year to make it to the championship? He's not gonna take you there. He's average seven and nine, nine and well seven and nine, eight and eight, six. And, that's where he lives. He levels off. There's there's after that. There's nothing else. He's not going to take you to the ceiling, man, for whatever reason, because he wants to be in control at all times. And he, I, I, to me, I don't think he knows how to, you know, relinquish and, and, and let people be them. You know, and I think that's holding him back. It's killed him. Adley, you don't, you don't think he's going anywhere. You think Jeff Fisher is here to stay. Adley, you think... Fisher got nine lives, man. Nine lives. Fisher got nine lives, Fisher, man. So where's where's he going to end up? Where, what do you think? What, what kind of... What kind of you think he takes a year off? Or what happens to Jeff Fisher in 2017? I don't, I, it all depends on where his mind's at. I'm not sure if he, he, he'll he take a, a college gig. I'm not sure, you know, if he'll do that. But uh, he should be. I don't. Uh, it depends on him. I don't know his personal life, but he might end up somewhere pretty soon. Right. Might be a front office um, guy. I mean, he can, he can evaluate defensive talent. You know what I mean? I don't know about the offensive side, but definitely defensive talent. So... Right, well, uh-huh. well, I mean, I'm sure we're going to talk about this more on a podcast that will be coming out later on this week. Um, visit us at www.concertinogm.com.